So, you've got a golden ticket, but which crazy chocolates here will lead you through their factory? Let's go through Willy Wonka's evolution to find out. Animated. In the 1971 film, Wonka wears a great purple jacket, flowered vest, beige pants, and a matching bow tie, as well as brown shoes and a top hat. He lacks the gloves and goatee from the novel and has ashy blonde hair. He also has his fleet of Oompa Loompa workers. This candy maker opens his door to five golden ticket winning children, although is indifferent to them possibly dying. He's also terrifyingly unhinged. In the end, he gifts his factory to the only honorable child, Charlie. This era's cartoony candy mascot has white gloves and a red bow tie. Plus, various vibrant recolorings and slight redesigns were used. A promotional live action version of this Wonka with ruffled red collars, no gloves, dark hair, and a love of magic also made many TV appearances. The Swedish motion comic Wonka wears a faded pink jacket, purple pants, white japo, and a taller top hat with an added flower. He also has black wispy hair, a book accurate goatee, and is fairly short short, although this version is almost entirely lost media. The mid-90s Sunmark mascot sports a fully purple top hat and has a red hairdo. The live-action promotional Wonka's wardrobe was also altered to match this mascot, sans the ginger hair. The late 90s Nestle Wonka takes inspiration from the 1971 film, with the previous mascot's suit coloring and added green pants. This confectioner also has a claymation version and a bulging-eyed 3D render that appeared in UK commercials. You could even meet in-person Wonkas that aim to traumatize children. In the 2005 feature film, Wonka wears a maroon coat, dark undersuit, light purple gloves, and a patterned dress shirt with an initialed emblem. His skin is pale and he has a bangless bob covered by a dark top hat with a rib trim. He occasionally pairs this look with a black coat and adores wearing bug-eyed glasses. In flashbacks, this Wonka wears a splotchy purple getup with red accessories and a scarlet striped coat ensemble. He's seen capturing, uh, I mean, uh, recruiting his Oompa Loompas and seems to have unresolved daddy issues. But eventually, he makes amends with his father while being welcomed into Charlie's humble family. The Nestle mascot in this era was less angular and had a darker coloring, while the in-person mascot would retain his cartoonish form. The opera production Wonka combines elements of both film versions, adding a white plaid suit, lapel flowers, and a blue shirt and vest. Matching the book version, the Broadway Wonkas often wear a plum-colored jacket, green pants, amber vest, and white gloves, although they usually lack the big bow tie. More unique Broadway versions include Norway's blonde Riddler-like Wonka, the Danish version with a dark pattern suit and eyeliner, Brazil's Candyman incorporates more purple in a tie-dye vest, the French Chocolatier sports a colorful 2005 Wonka outfit, the UK touring candy maker rocks an orange color palette, the Japanese confectioner incorporates a second massive bow tie, long silver hair, lots of makeup, and a chocolatey hat, they also sometimes sport a fully beige outfit, and the Greek sugar artist wears a robe, black rain boots, and has spiked hair. While these musical candy men have kept the Wonka brand alive, let's get back to the on-screen versions. In the Tom and Jerry film, an animated 1971 Wonka has a pink vest, larger bow tie, darker hair, and meme-worthy expressions. Although, apart from including Tom and Jerry, this adds little to no lore. The service now Wonka also recreates the 1970s version, but has a muted vest, darker bow tie, brown hair, and is passionate for efficient working solutions. In the spiritual prequel, a younger Wonka wears a fuzzy vest paired with a mixed green button-up shirt, a magenta coat with gold embroidering, striped beige pants, tall brown boots, and a lumpy top hat. He also clearly adores scarves and notably had a good relationship with his departed mother. In this film, to sell his sugary goods, he, his young assistant, and an Oompa Loompa take on the crooked candy rivals to the bittersweet end. And with a slew of notable parodies, it's clear that Willy Wonka will be giving out toothaches to many future generations. Check out more animations on the channel. Huge shout out to Joseph Bradley for his retrospective covering Wonka, linked below. Hit like, click subscribe, and tap that little bell to know when new animations drop.